And I know the mess fuck Bitch, I'm in a trap with the and we throw it up See ya, fall, fall, while my n- Good morning, y'all. Um, honestly, I usually come on here and tell y'all the time, but I really don't know the time. I tried to come a little different. I know I skipped last week, and I know I look like I belong on the color purple. Oh, let's just not focus too much on my hair. Literally, I woke up like this, and yikes. I see why I don't have a man, but that's okay. I'm really not looking for a man. If y'all don't know, I've been celibate for a little over a year, and I'm Honestly, it's been hell. I can't even be like one of them and be like, oh my gosh, yay, celibacy. No, bitch, it's been hell. Like, I don't know if I need companionship. I don't know if I need company. But yikes, yikes. Let's talk about the hair. So I tried to um, relax my leave out. And honestly, the leave out part is damaged. Yikes. So now I have to let it grow out and yeah so much for doing the big chop just to damage it again but if y'all don't know i love the mascara on the eyebrows method honestly i have two mascaras one for my eyebrows and one for my lashes and honestly this ysl mascara is literally growing my lashes so I want to get y'all some y'all better hurry up okay don't mind my breakout i have been stressing and yeah literally that's the breakout that's the breakout literally but my skin is literally clearing up thanks to who sent me over some facial stuff i really forgot but they sent me over some facial stuff and it's been clearing my skin honestly this is like a vent with me slash update on my life because i skipped a whole week in my life and yeah I'm finally at the grocery store. I haven't went shopping in so long, honestly. I'm proud of myself because DoorDash was literally my, what, companion. I was literally in a relationship with DoorDash. It got so bad that prices went up and I was forced to leave. I was literally forced to leave. But anyways, hopefully y'all see some more cooking with me videos. Hopefully I adult a little bit better because the route I was going was uh, atrocious. That's the only word I can think of on the route. The path it, I would not recommend. But shout out to this smart app task what i don't know this smart task app for really keeping me organized no this is not sponsored but yes it really does help so yeah now i'm back home don't mind my little baby pictures right there that's me when i was younger honestly i just wanted to show y'all a little bit because i <laughs> Anyways, um, I decided to get a little snack. It was calling my name, but honestly, I don't know why because I would not recommend um, that's it. It was so disgusting. Honestly, yikes. It wasn't really the flavor. It was just the texture. I could not grasp a hold to the texture. Like, we did not agree. And I'm kind of mad that I wasted my money, but it is what it is. At least I know next time not to get that. I'm trying to just fake it and just eat it, but it's like, damn, I'm trying to get my money's worth. But honestly, y'all, I wouldn't recommend. But anyways, uh, yeah, this is the before in the refrigerator. Honestly, it's like, oh, wow, this was my life. This was my life. Honestly, it looked like I was surviving off of Prime. And honestly, I don't know if Prime don't give me energy. I don't know if it's for a certain type, but coffee don't even give me energy. So I don't know why I tried to lean on that. But anyways, shout out to the person that sent me it. But honestly, this Mexican candy was so refreshing, good, and what I needed. Honestly, literally, it reminded me of a childhood. No, I'm not Mexican, but... Me and my brother, we love a Mexican candy. Well, at least when we were younger. And this brought back so many memories. It was so good. I really just can't get over my breakout. Okay, let's not just focus on that. 
because yeah it's looking atrocious i'm looking like what is it called crunch bar not even i'm not even a crunch bar i'm looking like a rice crispy and babes it's not the good kind because yikes yikes but anyways i did not eat the whole thing of this um mexican candy but I should have because it was so good. I decided to save a little and go the healthy route because I'm trying to get my body back in shape. Honestly, I've been so lazy that I'm concerned. I should not be that concerned, but I'm really concerned. Honestly, I'm trying to take the shot like a G, but that shit is spicy. It's like, wow. Wow. I don't know what's worse, alcohol or that. Oh, there's the reaction. <laughs> crazy but i did it hey y'all hey it is currently 12 44 on this lovely saturday as y'all can see and i bought this panini maker like some weeks ago and decided i was gonna become a professional panini maker honestly i have no idea what i'm doing but let me show you all the ingredients i will be using for this panini if y'all don't know what a panini is it's this this is what i'm trying to achieve Hopefully it looks better than that. I don't even know what picture that is. I'm literally just pointing. <laughs> so hopefully I insert picture. But anyways, I'm gonna be using some uh, baby spinach. Y'all don't know I love spinach. Like spinach is literally everything. Some uh, pepper jack cheese. Some uh, provolone. As y'all see, I need a lot of cheese on my um panini. And some uh, sharp cheddar chip. What? I don't even know. What was I saying? I don't know. My tongue just got stuck. And for the meat, I will be using this rotisserie seasoned chicken breast. As y'all can see, mm, this is literally Lou's favorite. I was in Walmart and I seen this garlic parmesan and a basil butter. So I will be um, coating my bread with this as well as this basil pesto spread i have really been seeing this everywhere i don't know if this is the correct jar but we're gonna try it and literally i've been obsessing over it even though i really haven't tried it but i have tried this pasta and if i like this pesto i will be attempting to make the pasta like literally ah! but for the bread i will be using this farmhouse butter bread this is top tier in my opinion for my um dish i will be using paper plates because i don't feel like washing dishes and oh my gosh something's really in my eye and i'm just like wow blink blink and it's still there like usually when i like do a couple blinks it like refreshes my eye y'all get it y'all get it if y'all don't i'm so sorry i don't even know what i'm saying but anyways um i don't feel like washing so i will be using a paper plates let me show y'all the dishes yikes this is how it's looking. Yikes. I know some of y'all like, girl, that's not that much. Just do it. I really can't do it. Like, my mind's telling me no, and my body's just agreeing. So I'm not doing it. It's so fucked up. It's lazy, but whatever. I'm trying to overcome. I'm literally trying to overcome laziness. But I really need to find a plug for this because, as y'all can see, let me show y'all my panini maker up close. Ah, super cute. I think this twists and turn. Why? I don't know. But this is cool. This is really, really cool. I feel like I'm a professional already. Oh, shit. Let me not break it. Let me not break it. Anyways, um, I think I'm going to cook this panini over here because, as y'all can see, the outlet is literally on the other side of this island. I really like the island, though. I really need to give y'all an update on my home. Literally, I haven't been working as hard on it, but... Y'all really haven't even seen the update of what I have worked on, so mm, I'll update y'all. Hopefully it has a self timer, cause I really don't know what I'm doing. I just know I want a panini, so let me plug this up. Let's see, okay, the lights are on. I'm gonna let this heat up. Oh, this is gonna be so good. I can already taste my panini, literally. If I had the patience and if I wasn't as hungry as I am, literally, I would like really put my soul into this and make some bacon to put on it. Put. No! I literally gotta go to the store. 
I think my bread is molded. Let me show y'all. I think my bread is molded. Is this mold? How do you know when the bread's molded? Is this mold? Is that mold? Oh my gosh. My heart is literally broken. All right, y'all, I am now back from Walmart. It wasn't really that packed, but it was kind of packed. But the bread I decided to go with was this Italian bread. As y'all can see, it's so big. Hopefully, oh, it does fit on the uh, panini machine. Love that. Um, Let me plug this and get this back heated up. And I get this panini rolling. Honestly, I never had bread with um the ashiness. I don't know what that's called. If y'all know, correct me down below. But I never had this kind of bread. So hopefully this bread is really, really good. Based off smell, it smells really, really fresh. So I love that. Damn, baby. I just don't understand what we went wrong. so horrible so i do have to redeem myself it wasn't like bad no it was bad bad i can't even sugarcoat it i think i got the wrong jar something told me i got the wrong jar but yeah i went grocery shopping adulting just wanted to update y'all a little bit this is the end of this video if you guys enjoyed it like comment and subscribe if not well maybe you'll like the next one well love y'all bye are you dumb just kidding just kidding